Hi everybody, I wanted to show you the basics of building the construction pieces that you can see behind me here out of grey board and rather than giving you a really thick instruction book that you've, you know, we, okay so no holes barred here, we're trying to save on using paper because it's better for the environment and by not doing a leaflet inside the box we can save you money so we can bring you the digital Craftorium USBs at a better price, okay? However, we are going to do video education with them and there is also a downloadable PDF if you decide you want to print it out, but also you can view it on your computer. So that's why we haven't done a thick leaflet, but I wanted to show you exactly how you build one of the sections of one of the boxes because it's important because we've done it in a certain way that A, it gives you more rigidity to your projects and B, I just wanted you to understand that everything goes on top of the base. So there's none of sticking it to the outside edges anymore. We've changed the way that we're doing it and we're building them all on top of the base. But how do we get those pieces in the first place? Well, we've just taught you how to cut grey board on your scan and cut machines. And what you're going to need for each layer is three pieces. And this creates a three mil piece of board. I'm also going to use the pin flare book binding glue, but out of a pot. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is in an old cadence pot because I ran out of the pin flare glue gel in, um, in their pots. So I put some in from one of the bottles into this pot because I didn't, I couldn't find anything else. So I don't think that this is what it looks like. It's a white pot with a lid on and it's got a label on it that looks like this, but it's in a tub. And pin flare also do a spatula. Get yourselves one of these because this is crucial actually to using this. So I'm gonna dip my glue into here. Now this is a book binding glue, which means that it has a very low water content and it doesn't buckle your paper and your card the way that a lot of other PVA glues do because of that low water content. So you almost want to put it on and then scrape it off. And you want to make sure that you are absolutely getting every single one of those sides, edges, covered in that glue, okay? And it will start to soak in quite quickly on grey board because it's a very porous material. So we're going to be, work quite quickly with this and we're just going to get a nice thin layer but we are making sure that our edges are have got that glue right up to the edge of them. We don't want any gaps because then your grey board will just open up. So you're going to take your first one, you're going to position your second piece on top like so. You're going to get rid of that excess that's on the side. Pop it onto your table and just line those edges up perfectly. And then I go around each side like this, making sure that it's completely sealed and that it's completely level, okay? And then I'm gonna give it a really nice press down like that. Now that glue is going to make your board even stronger. It's gonna make it more durable. So we're going to do the, the next layer in exactly the same way. So we're going to Go across here with our glue, like so. Then turn it round, do the other edge, like that. Making sure we've got glue all the way around those edges. And it's worth just taking a minute or two to get it right because you don't want it then splitting when you start to build it or when it gets warm. And then I'm going to put my next piece on top. So same thing again, put it down on your table or your glass mat because this glue does stick to your glass mat. You get it off with your scraper, so wet it first and then use your brother's scraper to clean your glass mat. Comes in useful for all sorts of things, that tool. That's why mine looks like <laughs> it's not like I've had it for 20 years because it gets used every day. Right, so we've now got our box base. Now you would use the same file to cut out your paper layers, but I haven't done the paper on this because I wanted you to see box base and how we build this up. So I'm gonna move that out of the way, put the lid on because it is water-based. So it, you know, it does dry out. So make sure that you put your lid back on. So now I've got my box base. I'm going to take the back. So I've got the back of the box here and I've done exactly the same thing with that. You might want to have a sanding block at the side of you so you can just sand 
across there just very lightly just to make sure that there's no bits that are sticking out or you haven't you know there's a little bit of gray board just where it shouldn't be just make sure that you do that and then I'm going to change the glue that I'm using so I'm going to go to all stick and this is an all-purpose craft glue and this is like it's a solvent based glue so it's much stronger um, than the water-based glue because it's solvent based it does have an odor to it it smells like pear drops so if you're a bit sensitive to smells you'll want to work in a well ventilated room but it's a brilliant glue for things like this because it once it's bonded it's not going anywhere okay so I've opened the bottle now one other tip I will give you is don't ever leave the top open and leave it led like that on your table because you'll come down in the morning and there'll be a big pool of the glue because it kind of it just oozes out so always make sure that your the bottle is tight and wiped when you're finished with it so all I'm going to do is put some glue across this edge here so hold the bottle upside down it is very gloopy this glue so you're going to have to wait for it to come down to the nozzle and then gently you're just going to put a little bit of your glue along here okay so you're going to make sure that every area of that edge is covered but you're not going to overdo it the other fabulous thing about this glue is that if you get it where you don't want it it rubs off so while it's wet you can just rub it and rub it in one direction and eventually the excess glue will just roll into a ball and it's super cool it's really clever so just let that settle so we've got a nice even layer and then I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to position this and I'm going to put it right up to that edge so it's going on top but it's going right to the edge of this piece of card so I'm just going to hold this in place for a minute and then I'll lift it up and I'll show you and I'm just wiping off any excess at this moment in time and you'll see this just kind of rolls off your hands which is lovely you see it just goes into little bits and then it rolls off so I'm making sure that that edge is right against the edge of the box base and then you're going to apply some pressure okay and you're going to make sure that that holds firm and you need to be quite accurate with this you can't be like a couple of mil out it needs to be quite accurate because you've got a drawer that is going to go inside this so you need to make sure that it's it's as level as possible and I would actually leave it to dry fully before you did the next bit to be honest but we haven't got time for that today so I'm going to show you how you can then add the sides in so if I just lift this up now you can oh this is what happens you see this is why I say let it dry completely so I'm going to lift that up and I'm just going to put it back into position and what I'll do is I will just grab one of the drawers from behind here so you'll see that everything has gone on top of that base so the back the sides and the front are all sitting on top of that base and that gives it more rigidity and it also makes it look neater when you've done it but you must make sure that this is flush okay this is the bit that we're doing now you're making sure that that's as level as you can possibly get it so if I lift this up now and just support it under there you can see that that's completely flush against that edge and that's what we want so I always do the back first just pop that back there out of the way and then I'll do a box side so think about where the glue needs to go it needs to go down this edge to attach to here and it needs to go across the bottom so that we can then attach that bit there and you will have a gap here because you've got the front to go on so although this is three mil and then you've got two layers of paper because you've also got four layers of glue so you've got your paper your glue your board your glue your board your glue your board your glue and your paper we've allowed four mil so you'll have a little bit of extra wiggle room which is good because you don't want it too tight because then it doesn't sit properly on top of the base so we're going to put the side bit and we're going to do exactly the same thing again you can use your book binding glue for this if you prefer but I find that this is really good because a you can wipe it away if you get it in the wrong place but b it's a little bit more strong that was really bad English a little bit stronger <laughs> I can feel like I can hear my mum in my head going Melanie that was really bad English I was like yes mum I know <laughs> bless her she's not with us anymore but I can still hear her 
<laughs> so we're going to put this in here and we're going to push it into that corner so we're flush on this edge and on the edge at the bottom here okay and we're just going to push that in slightly and just make sure that that corner is bonded and everything is flush and then we're going to just give that a little bit of time just to set now you can take something like your spatula or in my case my tweezers because I haven't got anything else and just run across any excess glue just get rid of that and you could paint this if you wanted to so you could gesso it and then paint it you can you know add all your different mediums you could cover it in fabric if you wanted to just be aware that you've got that tolerance so if your fabric's quite thick you might want to make the base bigger and the sides a little bit wider because you can resize all these of course as well so I'm going to press this down firmly like that and while that's go at taking I'm going to turn it around and do the other side so we've now going to think about this so we want it on this side and this side so that's going to go on there and I would recommend you just lightly sand it even if it's with a nail file just to make sure that it's completely flat so we're just going to go across here and it's really interesting because I tried cutting some of these on a trimmer just to speed up the process a bit and it was nowhere near as accurate as this because when you're forcing a blade through something thick and dense even if you don't see it it can move a fraction and it was much more accurate cutting it on the scan and cut which actually is why we're, what we want, isn't it really? Because that's why we bought the machine in the first place. And it's lovely that when you spent a considerable amount of money on a machine, you can do so much with it. And that's why I'm delighted that we're bringing back the designer craftorium. Now, if you know it as cutting craftorium, everything's the same on the inside. It's just had a rebrand. And the reason it's had a rebrand is because when you type cutting into Facebook, which is where you'll see a lot of examples and inspiration. Um, cutting is a danger word now, so we've changed it to designer craftorium instead, but it's still the SVG files that you know and love. So we're gonna turn this round now, and then we're going to take the front of, do we have a front? We don't have a front on this one because we put the box top on and then the drawer goes on the inside there, okay? So well, now we've got our sides, and we've got our back in place, I would absolutely leave that to dry. And I'd leave it for a good two or three hours so that that, that bonded glue is completely solid. But as we said, we haven't got time for that. So I'm going to crack on with this. And because I've done a lot of these in my time, I'm quite used to doing it this way. So now I'm going to put glue onto here. So I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to run it across here. This also doesn't dry as quickly as the book binding glue. So you can do all three pieces with the glue rather than having to do them one at a time and getting in a bit of a, a bit of a mess. So I'm just going to go across here. So I'm not holding my nozzle off and the squeezing. I'm putting the nozzle of the bottle onto that grey board and then almost scratching it on but you do want a decent amount. You'll, you'll, find, you'll find quite quickly that you'll work out how much you need, what's too little, what's too much, and you'll get used to that process. So I just like to let that level for a little while so it kind of starts to soak into the grey board so that it it's starting to bond already. And you can also even just waft it a little bit and just that will just speed up the drying time so it becomes almost tacky. And then I'm just going to position this on here. So I'm looking at the left and the right hand side and then I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to make sure that the back edge is lined up on there as well. So I'm now pressing that down. I'm coming in and I'm adjusting those sides slightly and I'm coming in, I'm adjusting this side slightly and wiping off any excess glue as I go. And remember, you will have, you will have covered these with your decorative papers or if you're going to paint. If you're going to paint it, that's a really, that's a kind of a tricky one because if you, if you paint, glue it first and then paint it, you're going to struggle to get on the inside, but you don't want to get paint on the edges that you're going to glue onto, onto the other grey board pieces because then you've got to sand that back and paint isn't as, you know, as easy to get off as, as, um, as you would think. So 
we're just going to do this and then I'm going to press down and make sure that that is completely level because as long as your table's flat that has to be flat when you press it down so then we've got our box and this is how this looks and then we'll, you can make the drawer and the drawer will slide in there and the drawer front will fit inside here absolutely perfectly so I just wanted to do that video so that you can see that on every single one of the projects, whether it's the outer casing of this or whether it's one of the drawers, whether it's one of these drawers from over here, and I haven't glued these shelves in because I've got to get the, all these down to TV, but you can see that everything goes on top of that. If it didn't, you would see edges all the way around here. So every part of every piece goes on top of the base okay so that's how we build our 3d construction gray board projects from designer craft Orient.